Okay, this video is gonna just quickly show you how to write up some of your subroutines as pseudocode. Now, pseudocode is a little bit like, or it's structured like program code, but it isn't any specific language. It's what we call language agnostic. Um, and what you'll find that it, from the example I show you, which is going to be based on uh, this subroutine, which is the previous submenu routine, it's actually going to end up looking a little bit like Visual Basic because that's quite Englishy and wordy. Um, but it still has the same sort of structure with indentation. Um, when you're doing this um, pseudo code and any of the designs for your code, it's important to use the names that you've defined. So, like for example, here I've got previous submenu. Well, I'm going to use the same name for my pseudo code. I've got MN diff, and I'm going to use the same name in the pseudo code. Um, that's important. It's important to check that your naming carries on through from your design section into the actual code you produce. So, double check that. Right, so I'm just going to write this uh, in Word. Um, well, I've got a Word document already set up so that I can see both bits of screen. So I'm going to make sure I put a title in first. So I'm going to put sudo code for previous sub menu. So I'm just going to start it off. I'm going to do the first bit. So it says private void previous sub menu. So I'm going to put sub previous sub menu and I'm gonna put a few blank lines in and then put end sub so that's the equivalent of that bit to that bit okay let's go back to that okay right I must make sure I indent so this is the code within this routine so I've got this first thing is a switch now in pseudo code we normally say select but I'm gonna select the same thing so I'm just gonna say MN options main dot selected name okay I'm going to put a couple of blank lines in and do end select now because it's word it's gonna try to be clever on me I need that to be indented so I'm tabbed that in all right to the same level now one thing you'll notice particularly with office 2007 it does this really annoying um, blank line after every time you press enter um, so what we can do is if we just select all that um, and then we just maximize this a minute change it from normal to no spacing and just for the bit you've selected and that will get rid of all the extra lines okay so let's just put that back across and I'll change that okay I've got a number of cases I don't have to replicate the braces because that's what the end select marks, it marks the end of it. Um, now, I've got a case, I'm just going to say case, and it's diff. That's what I'm checking for. Um, tab in, and I'm just going to say MN diff. So I'm using the proper names. Previous. Because it's pseudocode, I'm using that. And then I've just got another couple of ones. Um, and that was lives. Remember, copy and paste in. Make sure you blaming change things. And that was MN lives. Previous. Put another one in. And the vol one. Vol. And that was MN vol. So I'm keeping those names. Um, and that last one there didn't actually do anything, so I'm just not going to put it. Uh, they're the only three things I'm checking for. Okay, and that's done. What you might want to do is tidy this up by highlighting all that and then marking the paragraph with an outside border so you can see it quite nice then. And you can see that that is, get rid of that line, done. Okay, so that's pseudocode. That's one of the things you've got to show.